Marcus Hayes. Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV. Here with my man, Gary Russell Jr., the one and only, man. What's going on, Gary? How you been, bro? Man, I've been good, man. I've been grinding, man. I've been in the kitchen cooking right up under their noses. It's all good. Coming back off injury, uh, I know we talked about you. We'll get to that in a second, man. Your younger brother uh, fighting this weekend, uh, Gary Antonio. Uh, tell me about what makes him special uh, as a fighter and your expectations for Saturday uh, man, night. Man, just the fact that what makes him special as a fighter, man, is one, one of the things that makes him special is the fact that we, we got the same DNA. <laughs> we got the same blood, baby. You know, so there's a certain level of tenacity, there's a certain level of hunger, a certain level of grit and wish that I know we all possess. Um, we have our own creed as far as the sport of boxing goes anyway. Um, for his, for his size, for his weight, he has deceptive punching ability. Um, he, can be, he can be very elusive, um, very elusive. He can be heavy-handed on both sides, either hand. Um, and he's very creative. Um, we got the drive. We, we just lost our pops. You know what I'm saying? That, that took a toll on us, but we found a way to harness the hurt, the pain, and and target it into the direction in which that it needed to be targeted into, you know. So um, we ready. We had a long camp, nice hard camp. Shit shaking. Gary, when we start talking about uh, big fights, um, I heard, I know you've heard, everyone has heard. Uh, I got a chance to talk to Ryan Garcia's uh, dad the other day, and he talked about Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia being the very next fight to be made. I know that that's not a fight that's very popular to you. I just talked with Antoine inside, who referred to Ryan Garcia as a piece of celery. What do you think about that fight? <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I prefer not to even elaborate on what my thoughts is on that fight. But if I had my, if I had it my way, um, there's no ill ill will against Ryan or or Tank. Um, if I had it my way. If I had it my way, I would probably want Tank to win. I don't know who would win, though. I would want Tank to win. Now back to you, the OG, Big Gary. Uh, now tell me about your shoulder. Uh, where are you in the recovery process? And uh, is it your intention and plan to uh, jump back between the ropes and give us some more of that Gary Russell greatness and speed that we've all grown accustomed to over the last 15 oh. years? Oh, over the last decade, huh, man? Uh, well, back to the amateurs too. I would, I would love, I would love to jump back, hop back in the ring, and display my skill set. Uh, like I said, I had a shoulder injury. I'm six months out from my shoulder surgery. Uh, I've been doing some very aggressive physical therapy with it. Um, I'm not in a rush to get back in the ring. Um, Leo don't have a fight. Leo doesn't have a fight. I know you wanted to fight Leo for a long time. Last time we talked, you wanted to fight Leo. Leo told me he was interested in fighting Gary. Still a possibility, or have we moved past that? Well, depending on how my my arm feels and stuff like that, um, like I say, I, don't, I haven't even thought about even getting back into the ring as of yet. My main focus has been my younger brothers and just nursing myself back to health. If I can get back in the ring, is it a possibility of me competing against Leo? It's a fight that I wanted back when. I don't think it holds the same... I don't think it holds the same umph that it did if I would have got the fight when. Back when, would I still compete against Leo? Sure, I'll still compete against Leo. Um, if the opportunity presents itself and the finances made sense, then sure, that's a fight that we'll, we'll probably take. And I'll try, I, I display my skills and beat that ass better than Tank did. You know what I'm saying? And, and to be honest with you, to take, I take my hat off to Leo because in my personal opinion, Leo was winning the entire fight up until the, up until the moment that he, that, he, that he got caught, so. Gary, know. Gary, uh, there's, been, there's been a ton of movement in boxing. Um, you got tomorrow uh, overseas. We got uh, in Australia. You got Devin Haney versus Cambosis. Um, what do you think about Devin Haney going back over and running it right back with Cambosis again? 
man, I'm never, I'm never been a hater as far as anybody going to get their money. You know what I'm saying? I never stand away of anybody putting food on their plate. Um, if that's what they want to do, then cool thing. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to say about that. I wanted to fight them. When I tried to make the fight happen, it was a whole lot of bullshit. You know, so I personally don't care about the outcome of that fight. I think he'll probably win again. I think the outcome will probably still be the same. Cambosa don't have the... I don't think he has has it in his arsenal to be able to do what's necessary to beat, to beat Devin Haney. I think and, what you see is what you get. And lastly, um, probably the biggest fight in the sport of boxing right now, um, Earl Spence Jr., Terrence Bud Crawford, um, the fight that the whole boxing world wants to see. What are your thoughts about that fight if they actually did sign the contract and tangle? I go with Earl. I go with I go with Earl. I think he's the bigger, bigger, naturally bigger fighter. I think he's a naturally stronger puncher. Um, I think Earl is more defensively responsible. I think Terrence. Terrence is the better boxer. I think he's the better specimen of the two. Um, overall, but I think he's too defensively immature. He being Terrence Crawford. Yeah, Terrence Crawford. I think Terrence is too defensively immature. Uh, he gets hit a lot. He shows that he gets he, that he gets hurt. And he doesn't necessarily have to be from a guy from his weight class. He shows that when he does get hit, he gets hurt from even smaller guys. You see him in the Gamboa. He gets hurt from smaller guys. Um, I think he's the better fighter. I think if he's in 15-round shape and he, he's able to have a certain level of conditioning to pick his punches, pick his shots, make Earl run into, run into shots, I think he'll be able to steal the rounds, the earlier rounds, and, and be able to maintain it if he's in 15-round shape. If he's not, I think Earl is just going to be too big, too strong. And over time, by the eighth, ninth round, I think he's going to overwhelm Terrence. Earlier in my conversation with Gary Antoine, Gary Antoine alluded to a point that you just made, which was, yeah, he's been hurt by smaller guys. Uh, he's been wobbled by smaller guys. Um, you haven't had a run in with him in the past, um, supposedly landing a shot on his chin yourself. <laughs> at one point in time um what do you what do you is there any way a guy can strengthen the chin if there is a question about it well i can say this the sport of boxing is marcus of queensburg people fin tend to forget that that means to hit and not get hit you know so it's not a thing of strengthening your chin it's the thing of having a level of defensive discipline you know being able, having a certain level of defensive discipline to be able to catch and avoid shots that's coming your way, you know. And I think Terrence, he, he's immature when it comes to that. Gary, he lastly, a lot of, lot of, lot of movement.